Hey, we're sorry. Sorry is pregnant. No shit, you're kidding. Tell me about it. What's to tell? Claudia's been talking to her all morning. I gave her a Darwin and a Prozac, told her to go to psychological counseling. <laughs> no way. God, well, what is she doing about it? I mean, when? She's having it done next week, Wednesday. Then she's dropping out and going to Europe, I guess. Maybe I should go to Europe. Find Victor, finally lose my virginity. Wait, I'm totally confused. Didn't you lose it to Victor last term? Not exactly. I mean, you're still a virgin if you only do blowjobs and anal, right? <sighs> and I'm still a virgin. Uh, I wasn't sure about Victor at the time, but now I'm positive he's the one. And I'm saving myself until he gets back. <sighs> what? That's what you said about Paul. And then look what happened. Well, how was I supposed to know he'd go gay on me? Tori has a point, Lauren. You do have a track record of dating boys to go the gay way. What are you saying? Nothing, but maybe it's a self-defense mechanism you've developed. Defense against what? Losing it, leaving childhood behind. Excuse me, I have carnal knowledge with boys all the time just because <laughs> it's not vaginal. Don't take it the wrong way. We're your friends. Yeah, we're trying to help you. It's a simple equation. If you want to keep a guy, you have to make him feel like he's getting something he can't get elsewhere. So, what do I do? Look, I'm not telling you to lose it to next Brady that comes along, but you need to gain some experience before Victor gets back. If you want to keep him. If you want to keep him. For God's sake, use a condom. <sighs> he is so handsome. Isn't he handsome? Lord, he's married. I don't care, so what? He'll never leave his wife for you. You don't want him to leave his wife for you. It's just to do you.